Interested in color psychology? Then let me tell you about my free 12-week class on the psychology and neuroscience of color for building digital products and campaigns. It's a practical class focused on applications and user experience design, interactive design, graphic design, branding, marketing, and my shtick, which is applied behavioral science. If this sounds interesting, stay tuned and I'll tell you more. The class is organized around three broad areas. So the first is on the physics and neurobiology of color. Then we're gonna be dealing with the applied behavioral design process, and then we'll get down and dirty and get into the application. We're gonna start off with lesson one, focusing on the behavioral design process and the color psychology toolkit. This will give you a set of tools that we'll use throughout the entire course, which will help you put everything into perspective. Next, we're gonna look at the physics of light and color. Yes, this is quantum mechanics for graphic design, but don't worry, I made it very simple and I'm only covering it at a conceptual level. Module three will cover the major color systems and how they're used in technology. This will give you insight into the different color systems that exist out there, the ones that we built into technology, and you'll really start to understand why the sRGB system is such a substandard system and why some of the newer color systems coming down the pipeline are probably gonna transform the way we design interactive tech. Module four, focus on accessibility and design for human health so that we build digital products that are not just wonderful to engage with and more persuasive, but that actually foster health and avoid many of the health risks that come with existing technologies. From this point forward, we're going to follow through the emotion behavior model. And we're gonna start off by looking at how we use color to control what people focus on and what they don't notice. This will be about how we design for salience and come up with visual hierarchies that control what people notice. In module six, we'll look at how we design to create instant comprehension. When you design something, people must understand it in a fraction of a second with no conscious effort. Related to this is data visualization. And when we go into the data visualization module, I'm gonna show you how color principles tie in with the major number systems that underpin all the sciences and how we communicate with numbers. In the first class on color and emotion, we're gonna get into the neurobiology of what emotions are and how they work. In module nine, we're gonna get more into the psychology of color, and we're gonna look at things from more of a correlational perspective. This is where we're gonna find the magic lookup list of color and emotions, but there's quite a lot of scientific research we can draw from, so there's no need to go to the nonsense pseudoscience sources that people typically use. Then in module 10, we're gonna look at emotional design color strategy. So this is gonna be much more hands-on. We'll be doing teardowns, and walkthroughs. In module 11, we'll look at how we design for the conscious brain. And in this module, we'll learn techniques for designing color strategies that go a little bit unnoticed and those that force someone to pay attention to what's going on. Finally, in module 12, we'll deal with one of the most important subjects and that's how we design for brands that foster trust. The class is structured around these five areas. I'm gonna be releasing roughly daily lessons. Next, there's gonna be a full design toolkit that you can download and use throughout the course. I'm gonna be running live tutorials. So that means those of you who opt in and decide to join me live, we're going to do interactive experiential learning. So rather than covering the content, which I'm not going to do, I'm going to help you understand the content through psychometric polls, through group exercises, some of the fun and crazy lessons that work like magic in the classroom. We're going to do them online together. These are, these are lessons that you really need to do as a group because the psychology of color is something you have to see. And it's one thing for me to tell you what the science says, right? And you could say, oh yeah, Dr. Kugelman told me this or that. But that's not nearly as impactful as you doing um, group psychometric polls and realizing, holy crap, everyone else is responding fairly systematically to these principles. And I also did that. So when you experience the color, when you experience some of the games I'll take you through, it's a totally different learning experience. So that's why we're gonna do it live as a group. And that's gonna be a lot of fun. And that is only being run once. If you miss it, it's not being recorded. You are not allowed to record it either. 
Live training has to be live. In-person training must be in person. I hope you can make it. Otherwise, the static lessons are going to be pretty good, but if you join me live, that's gonna be a whole other game. Next, I'm going to provide personal feedback. So during the live term, I will provide feedback to any of your questions provided they are placed within the video lessons. Right? And I will do it for the week. Here's why. So if you have a question, other people probably have the same question. And it's time efficient for me to answer one person in a group setting rather than one-on-one. -on -one. So please do not write me in LinkedIn or shoot me emails on this. The reason why you have to do it within a week is because this is a live class. And you wouldn't really go to class in a university or college or any school and start talking about things that are a month old all the time when the class is somewhere else. So if you do that, I, I can't keep up because I'm gonna be dealing with a cohort of students who are keeping up with the curriculum. So, so catch up, make your comments at the time and I will respond to you then, but I will not respond during the term to really late content. Okay, try your best to stick up and I will try my best to give you personal feedback. I think that's a fair exchange. During the live term, obviously things are going to change. There's gonna be updates. This is a real live class. So the updates will generally be put out in the Behavioral Design Academy of UltraSparks LinkedIn school site. So if you sign up and you follow there, you will get the updates. If you'd like to follow the class or you're interested in following this subject, then hit the subscribe button. If you appreciate this course and you're interested in helping to spread the word, then I would really be grateful for a thumbs up. We'll see you uh, online in one form or another. Bye for now.